So yin yoga for me marries the practice of uh, yoga, uh, asana practice, and meditation. As teachers, we love to offer things that have inspired us, practices, um, teachings. For me, when I learned it, I had to immediately start sharing it. Mm -hmm. And it, it adds another flavor to a class. But not only is it that it gives it variety, but one practice complements the other, yeah. you know? So not only does it complement the meditation practice, but it complements the active practice. Yin yoga, we talk about yin and yang, and yang are your active poses that we're all used to doing. And yin takes the poses, they're floor poses, and they're held in a muscularly passive way for extended periods of time, three to five minutes, so that we can begin to address the more passive parts of our physical, mental, emotional body. When you have your students in poses, First of all, you're bringing them into the pose, but then there's the opportunity, because you're staying three to five minutes, you have time to then give teachings, practices while they're in it, things that have inspired you, and time for silence too, but as a teacher, it gives you that place without it just simply sitting up and lecturing. And the thing about yin, adding that to the toolbox, is that it invites you to grow as a yoga teacher because you want to share what, what you're learning and then it, well for me the experience is I tend to go deeper and deeper in like what does the Yoga Sutra say about that? Or what does the Dharmapada say about that? Because I'm feeling this and how can I bring it forth? And how can I bring forth the real teachings that matter to us? Mm -hmm. Teachers, are, they're already in a familiar place and they tr the teacher drops in more easily as a student. And so we're already on a playing field together where we can get deeper and deeper with more ease.